Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly tarot reading for the month of March. Page of Swords is upright. I will use these as your crowning energy for this month, okay? So, Five of Pentacles, Reverse. Justice, Reverse. Wheel of Fortune, Reverse. Strength, Reverse. Oh, not good cards. Okay, so we have a redeeming um, element here. Ten of Cups in the upright position. This is the Seven of Swords, Reverse. Four of Pentacles, upright, Seven of Cups in the reverse position. I'm going to pull out two more. Okay, so um, Seven of Pentacles, reverse, and the Queen of Swords in the upright position. Okay, interesting. So, let's just say it's going to be a little difficult, but emotionally, it's going. things will stabilize, okay? So, um, I, I wouldn't say that it's going to be a difficult month, but I would say is. Um, your power of manifestation and um, I guess your your um, joie de vivre, which is like, you know, the, the joy that you normally have, your sense of optimism, your sense of like um, your freedom, loving nature, your non-judgmental, you know, um, characteristic that is really endearing is going to be tested. Okay, so um, I wouldn't say it's emotionally difficult and it's emotionally, you know, draining. But what I would say is um, you will be tested this month. Okay, so it's not as bad as like February for sure. But let's look at this situation. So with the star card as your crowning energy, I feel that a lot of you, um, it's a situation where it's a wish card, you know. A lot of you have been hoping for a partnership. And with the justice card in the reverse position too. A lot of you have been hoping for a partnership and... Um, Things are coming to light this month in which you, that partner is not proving to be viable. This is That partner is not the best option for you. And I feel that um, you knew that in the past, okay? You, you knew about it because the Page of Swords deals with mental energy and it's basically our ability to reason, our ability to, to assess. As a page, it's a very young, very naive energy. So a lot of you might have like... Um, been fooled into believing that that was the right thing for you to do that was the right person to carry on with um, in January and February this could also be a friendship this could also be a work project as well any type of something that you hold really dear to your heart and you really want it to work out okay so I feel that um, you might have been duped into believing that was the right thing for you or you might have like um, deluded yourself into thinking that was what you really want so you know um, the nine of cups is also a wish card the nine of cups is a wish that brings a lot of emotional fulfillment whereas the star is like you get what you wish for so if um, you know not to chastise or anything because I wouldn't do that I, you know but um Coming from this, though, it's really important to um, be careful about it next time. You know, self-delusion as well. I, I feel like it's a big issue here. Mainly because um, the strength is in reverse, Wheel of Fortune, and then the Justice card is in the reverse position. So um, I would definitely say, you know, practice your discernment. Remove yourself from a situation in which you're too emotionally invested and involved to look at the person that you're dealing with objectively, okay? And, like, that is good advice for every single sign, but even more so for you, especially for, like, I, I know that February was really rough. So moving forward, um, you know, take that lesson with you because it's going to serve you well in all your future interactions, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, Five of Pentacles is definitely, I do see that a lot of, um, this is also healing energy. New information are coming to light that allows you to look at things objectively, that uh, allows you to see the other person for what they are so that you can move forward. And in the process, you're rebuilding your self-esteem. So the, the ability to rebuild self-esteem is actually coming up very uh, strongly at the beginning of the month. Um, I would definitely say this, okay? There is a, a split in the way the cards are playing out. So I would say 
one way that this would play out is, you know, rebuilding the self-esteem. Another way is feeling sorry for the other person and then going back to the other person. So that could play out in two ways. And I feel that a lot of you might actually consider going back to the other person just because the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse position, which allows old things to cycle back in. And on top of that, we have this, you know, poverty of the mind, poverty of the body, of the spirit card. It's showing up upright. Uh, I'm sorry, reverse, it's showing up at the beginning of the spread, which indicates that, um, you know, like um, two people who are going through hardships together and they're bonding over the experience, which indicates that, you know, if it's a heartbreak situation that you're dealing with in the past, or if there's, you know, somebody um, that has done you wrong in the past, or you have done somebody wrong in the past, you're suffering through it together physically. So, you know, that opportunity is there for you to do that but I wouldn't advise you to do that because that's not healthy so let go of those old habits okay and I do feel that you know the person might try to cycle in with this in the reverse position and then you might be like uh, you might pity them you might feel sympathetic you might really you know try to understand things from their point of view and that's not the the smart way to go okay so be aware of that um, on top of it strength is in the reverse position. Justice is also, um, you know, it's a card of Libra, like I mentioned. So we have the card of Aquarius, the card of Libra. This is potentially something that happened in, let's see, we, this is a, a year cycle as well. So something that happened in the time of Libra last year, like around, and, you know, going back to those situations because things are staying the same. All right, so please be aware of that. Know when something is like a, the advice that I've heard once before is, um, to distinguish the difference between a healthy relationship, um, an addiction, and a soulmate relationship. Okay, so it's very important for you to to know the difference because you want relationships that help you grow. If the other person has, you know, if the other person makes you regress, if the other person doesn't, you know, help you expand in any way. As sad as it is, it's important to leave them behind. So if the relationship no longer um, serves you, if it's like outlived its purpose, its expiration date, it's really important to let the other person grow or go so that they can grow on their own, okay? Maybe the lesson for them is to be on their own. So just let it, let it go because some things are definitely out of our control, but we all know when something has like outlived its purpose. I think deep down we all know that. It's just the process of letting go can be very difficult. So a lot of people don't do it, and they don't do it in the time that is required. They don't do it the right way. So, you know, get out of situations before things get bad is what I say, and then you can part on good terms rather than waiting for, you know, everything to hit the fan and then, you know, and then you're hostile towards each other. So it's one of those situations. I feel like it's past hostility. So at this point, there's, like, um, more... I guess understanding, but at the same time, you can under you can be sympathetic and still move on. So don't get back in that situation. Okay, I would advise you not to. Um, the Justice card also deals with legal issues. So a lot of you might be going through a divorce too, and where you're like uh, divvying up the assets between the two of you, and you know that's why like money might not seem like it's coming, or a huge of your a huge chunk of your earnings of things you work really hard for is not coming into you know your bank account so that would explain the financial situation and you're holding on tight to your money so there might be legal disputes with like divorce separations um, I don't know um, child support things like that that is affecting your income flow okay but I wouldn't say you know like I said you're not in outright poverty so don't worry too much about it just keep on doing what you've been doing and don't let old things return because we're turning a new leaf here okay um, I would say also with the strength card in the reverse position, I would really be fearful about you guys returning to past situations that have outlived its purpose. And it's mainly because with strength, it deals with self-esteem as well. When our self-esteem takes a nosedive, we usually turn to past situations and people and, you know, revert to unhealthy behaviors and habits out of a sense of security. So when self-esteem takes a nosedive, it's also, you know, 
uh, it, it's it's just problematic because it allows old things to come back in because um, they serve as like a safety net or a security blanket so be really careful about that and manage stress manage um, you know emotional burdens and insecurities in a healthy constructive way okay and I would advise you sorry about that I would advise you keep yourself busy so um, I feel like with Sagittarius in general, keeping busy, going out there, and you know, like uh, especially doing outdoor activities would be really, really good for you. So make sure that happens, okay? Get your mind off things so that you don't revert back to bad things from the past. Okay, so in general, okay, so I would say you're this is a card of liberation, you know. I would definitely say it's a happy home life, it's a happy um, relationship. Okay, for those of you who are not in relationship, who are, you know, still dealing with past issues, exes and things like that, what I'm sensing is a new found sense of freedom, freedom in movement, freedom in like, um, in the way you live your life. So it's a really good card to have. So it's also completion, like the end of a, the end of a toxic cycle or even hard work paying off okay it might be a little problematic because um i feel like this is only one aspect of your life though this is like um emotionally you feel liberated but um there might be legal entanglements that's worrying you but there is just closure there's just closure and you know everyone is happy everyone can move on so that's that's really good energy and speaking of moving on this is interesting here um, like I said, this is the sneaky man card, and I don't ever want to see this card ever for anybody, but um, it is coming up here in the reverse position, so definitely somebody is getting their justice. So whoever has been lying, you know, doing um, immoral things or, you know, trying to get one over somebody else, they're, they're getting caught. They're getting caught, and the justice that is dealt to them, though, might not be, you know might not be as harsh as they deserve okay so they might in that regard and additionally whoever has been ousted as being this person um, they might get like the, the the wrath of God rain down on them so that would be to your benefit as well okay if it's not you um, it's a sword energy and the way the cards are laid out I, I don't feel that it's you it's somebody who's trying to ruin your happiness I feel because he's looking this way at this happiness bundle this bundle of joy but what I would say is um, whoever that is they're definitely getting you know getting their what they deserve and then you know that's really nice energy so if it's somebody from your past too this is the the time of reckoning as well with the wheel of fortune in the reverse position okay so that's going to happen for them you're going to be happy you're going to move on and that's really good um, like I mentioned finances hang on tightly to your finances because I feel like a lot of you might be going through separation and things like that where m the flow of money like you're you're a little more you're a little paranoid when it comes to money like you don't you want to even the score or you feel like you don't have enough but I feel that you you do have enough you know I feel you do have enough so you know just bear with it okay but the way everything looks is just you do have enough so don't worry so much okay I, I, I'm sensing like stress with this card here like stress and paranoia paranoia hanging on tightly to the things you love clinging on to things for security and clinging on a little too tight so be caref careful about that if you've been dealing with like a thief in the past too it makes sense that you're clinging on tight okay so that makes perfect sense but just know that um you can't really enjoy your life if you live like that but I'm sensing a lot of anxiety a lot of paranoia here but it's understandable if you've dealt with a thief in the past. So you're hanging on and you're nurturing the things that matter to you. So take it as that. So hang on to and nurture the things that matter to you. But leave them enough room for them to grow on their own, okay? So try to do that. The next card I have is um, the Seven of Cups in the reverse position. Okay. Um... It's underneath the strength card, which is indicative of you not taking action. But um, it's I'm dealing with Sagittarius here, so I would say you know um, this is a just a minor lapse in judgment. 
you know, like whatever situation you've had to contend with in the past. Um, healing energy is here, and new energy is here for you to finally, finally, finally move forward, okay? So she's um, holding this, you know, paving the way, blocking the old energy, and allowing you to move forward, like kind of like the gatekeeper. So let go of old situations because new energy is here, and I know it's kind of like once burned, twice shy type of deal. I would not say go back to the past. But um, I feel like you've decided on the course of your life. And it's really vital for you to move forward the end of this month, okay, to new things. Because also the end of this month is the time of Aries, which is, you know, when the sun is in a, a constellation of a fire sign. So that's when projects and anything you try to start will actually gain traction and momentum. So don't waste this opportunity, okay? Don't be afraid, don't be afraid and don't don't be afraid and rebuild up your self-esteem rebuild your self-esteem at the same time don't be afraid and let go because I know that um, you are very optimistic and in the past like um, you might have jumped the gun if that was the case this is new energy so you have to roll with it and I feel that the window of opportunity for things to really take off and the window of opportunity for you to act might be very uh, limited situation okay so please like share subscribe